today's just one of those days where I feel, and I would even say this week is just one of those weeks where I've just been feeling so, not yucky, but just weird. It just feels really, really slow. And I think that's because it's been a little gloomy. It's been a little rainy. At the beginning of this week, it was a little more sunny and that's the weather that I thrive in. Like when it's blistering hot, 90 to 100 degree weather, that is my happy place. I feel like I'm one with the sun and then when it gets gloomy, I'm chill for like a few days. But by the fourth or fifth day, I'm over it and I'm ready to see the sun again. And so it's just... So today is easily one of my favorite days out of each and every month and I mean my life can be an absolute shambles like I could be going through it mentally physically like all the above and a nail day is just gonna do it for me every time it's gonna get me right it's just honestly the perfect reset that I am really really needing right now because look at how outgrown my nails are. Don't get me wrong, I'm a long nail girl at heart. I will always love me some long nails, but these are just a little too long for me. They're at the point where they're kind of like bending, like little claws. And they kind of hurt, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, because they're real. Like these are my real nails, these are no extensions. I don't know exactly what I want to do with my nails yet, but I need to figure it out soon because depending on how my nails are really dictates how the rest of my month is going to go. And I know that might sound so dramatic, but if you get your nails done like routinely, you understand what I'm saying. Like it really is kind of a big deal. I will say I'm the type of girl where I like really, really simple nails. I don't like designs. I don't like anything crazy. I like something really simple, classic, that I could look at every single day. If it's too bright into my face, I can only do that for a couple weeks and then I'm over it. I'm gonna put on a little bit of makeup though, just because I'm so guilty of rolling up to the nail salon looking crazy. I feel so bad for my nail tech. She is a literal gift from God. She's the sweetest person ever. Anyone that has a close relationship with their nail tech knows that they're just... I want to keep it really light today, which is normally how I do my makeup. But to be honest with you guys, lately I have not been liking how makeup looks on my face. Every time I put on makeup, I want to take it off because I feel like it just doesn't look... Like it looks too much. And I could literally be wearing what I wear every single day, which is not a lot of makeup. But I also feel like this happens every time it like hits summer. It's so hot where I live that it's just uncomfortable to put anything really on my face. I'm gonna do the teensiest bit of blush just because I love the way pink blush looks. I feel like it just looks so cute on your cheeks. Okay, now we have to do something with the hair. I, one of the only ways I can really stay organized with certain things is if I put like my stuff in a bag. I put all my everyday hair stuff in this bag, whether it's like headbands, hair bands, clips, little like skincare headbands. I keep it all in this bag. And that just helps me like keep everything in one spot because if I don't, even if I put all my hair stuff in a drawer, it's going to be all over the place and I'm just going to lose it. So it's best to just keep it in a bag. I don't know if that works for anybody else, but that's just what works for me as someone that is so 
disorganized and I feel like that's another like misconception with me I feel like a lot of people think that I'm like organized and I'm clean not that I'm dirty but for most of my life like my room did not look the way that it looks keep it clean now just because I'm getting older and I like things to look a certain way but also I keep my room clean because I have like pride in like my space. As far as me being organized in life, I am very like all over the place, spur of the moment. Like if I don't write something down, I'm gonna forget about it. And I would love to blame that on the fact that I have ADHD. Like I'm very, very hyperactive, but either way, whether it is because I'm super like ADHD and I have no concept of time, or it's just because I'm a very like disorganized person and to get together, I'm, I'm working on it. <laughs> I've decided every month to set like one to three main goals or just things that I want to like work on and accomplish. And I'm truly saying this for anyone that kind of works like me where when I tell you I lose track of a lot of things, like most things in life very, very easily. Like anyone with ADHD can kind of relate to this, but I forget a lot of things but i also remember a lot of things and it's like very specific like down to the like most minuscule detail i'll remember like the most randomest things of life but in the same breath i feel like i'm forgetting everything and it's very confusing there's so many things going on in my head at once that kind of need a second to like register in my brain all the things that i can remember if that makes any sense. While I'm contemplating if I should wear a headband or not, we're going to pick out the nails that we're gonna do. I'm gonna put on some jewelry before I forget. I wore these last week and I really, really liked them. Or I have these big hoops. By the way, all of the earrings that I wear are from Made by Gigi Studios. These little chunky. Oh, those are cute. I wore this little initial necklace today. It's so cute. I think this time, after the amount of times I have banged my nails into something, I need to go short. I need to reset. You guys heard it here first. June is the month of resetting. At least for me, because July is my birthday month. Not that birthdays have ever really mattered to me. Actually, I don't really go out and do like a whole thing for my birthday. I'm very, very chill. This year, I'm turning 20. And I'm kind of excited about turning 20, I guess. You guys can't even see what I'm looking at. Hold up, now that I'm really looking at this, I don't know if I could do short nails. Mm, I get it, short nails are probably the way to go. And when I tell you guys my middle finger is holding on by a thread because like when I'm editing, I use my middle finger a lot. <laughs> Just don't know if I could do short nails. Like this is not me. This is not who I am. This is not who I was meant to be. I don't know. It's about that time where my mom and I are gonna have to leave soon, but I wanted to show you guys what's in my purse because when I tell you I feel like Mary Poppins with this bagu bag, I mean it. Here she is. She looks really small, cute, and dainty, but she's not. Like there's so many things that fit in this bag. And if you guys know the brand bagu, you know what this is, but this is like a reusable tote bag and this holds like 15 pounds, I think. I have my little, wristlet little wallet thing little hand sanitizer this is my favorite one i really like lavender smelling things my mini planner for on the go most of the time i write everything down like on my phone but sometimes it is good to have things written down so that's what this is for i have a cute little hand lotion hair tie lip products all really really good and i actually think i'm gonna wear these today a mini fix plus this is a little jewelry bag and this actually comes in handy for like when I'm on the go and I don't have time to like put on my jewelry before I get out the door. I can just put all the jewelry that I'm like wanting to wear that day in here. This is a little chip clip because I love food. And so when you're on the go and you're not done with like your chips or like whatever snack it comes in handy. Cash, pen, highlighter. Benadryl. I always have Benadryl on me at all times. Some mints, little perfume. I have a whole travel size umbrella. 
Bella actually got this for me when I visited her. I haven't used this yet, but I live in Florida and it rains a lot here. Here's the nails. Do we like them? This is so much better. My nails feel so short. My hair feel like I don't have any nails on. Now that we got that done, I do have to pick out an outfit and maybe some makeup for tomorrow because I have to be up really, really early and I just know I'm not going to have like the brain power <laughs> to pick out a good outfit or to really even have the patience to do my makeup. These jeans are one of the few hair that fit me right in all the areas like in the waist but there's still enough in the legs to kind of like move around these are from princess polly and then this top is from brandy it's just like a basic black tank and i'm probably gonna tuck it in a little bit in the front i also got sent these clips from the crown and i heard they're actually really really good so i'm gonna wear these tomorrow and see how well they hold up my hair i'll probably wear it like half up half down just because it's the easiest way to get my hair out of my face, but this is what they look like. I don't know, I'm intrigued. I hope these work out. I think I'm gonna get ready for bed. I'll see you guys.